In this video, we're going to take our first look at variables, which are one of the fundamental building blocks of computer programs. So the first thing I'm going to do is just make a copy of this file. Let's copy this by one means or another. Here I'm going to use the CP command, which works on my computer, probably works on yours too, if you're using PowerShell or have Mac or Linux. And I'm going to create variables.py. Then I can close this and open that. Now what I can actually do here is I can associate this text, for example, with a name, and then I can use the name instead of the text. So let's try it. I can type really anything I want here. It's important to follow some coding convention though, and the coding convention I'm following involves giving variables names with lowercase letters. You can use numbers, just not at the beginning. You can't use spaces and you can separate different words using underscores if you want. So let's, for example, say greeting. And don't worry about memorizing this stuff. You'll gradually pick it up if you continue practicing and working through the course. Let's say greeting equals and set it equal to this, which I'm going to take out of here. Notice that we have to have quotes around text to denote it as text. We can actually use single quotes or double quotes. It doesn't matter in Python. Now I can use greeting where previously I used this text. So if I run this now, you can see it works exactly the same as before. Let's maybe have another variable. Let's call this, I don't know, question. We should try to give variables names that are as meaningful as possible, but it is a bit difficult to make up really meaningful names in just a demo. So let's say question equals this text here. And let's output that question. Just going to rearrange this a bit. I'm going to use a blank line here to separate these two blocks of code to make them look a bit nicer. And we'll try running it. And there we go. It works just as before. I am going to be hitting you with some lingo, but again, don't worry about memorizing that. You're going to get used to it if you continue to go through the course. So this we call a string most often. We could also call it a string object. We'll talk about objects later on. And we could call it a string literal, meaning it's something that I've literally typed directly into the program. These, we can call both of these variables. We could call them even string variables because they refer to strings. But we can make them refer to something else later on if we want. They're not permanently fixed at referring to their corresponding strings. We can change them, which is why we call them variables. This is what we call the assignment operator. So it's an equal sign. And I think one thing that confused me when I started computer programming is that I had been used to equations in mathematics. And in mathematics, this would say, this is equal to this. Now it's true that it they are somehow equivalent to each other now that I've done this. But really, the meaning of this operator, a single equal sign, which we call the assignment operator, is to, in some sense, assign this value to this. So it takes what is on the right of it and assigns it to what is on the left of it. Now, this may sound complicated, but all you need to take away from this video is how to create simple string variables like this and then output them with print later on. So try this out for yourself, create some variables and then output the values of those variables with print. Really all we're doing is giving these bits of text a name that we can then use later in the program. And the way I've arranged this is not important. The only things that are important is we can't have space on the left hand side here. We can put blank lines in wherever we like though. And we have to, we say, declare a variable before we use it. 
So if you imagine that the Python interpreter is going to read this program starting at the top and going downwards, it has to have seen this before we can do this, otherwise it's not going to work. So this will have to be above this, so the interpreter reads it as it works downwards through the file. So do try it out for yourself, and we're going to be getting gradually more and more sophisticated in our use of variables, but if you practice the basics like this, then that will stand you in good stead when things get more complicated later on. This is a free video from my course Python and Machine Learning for Complete Beginners. I'm releasing the first couple of chapters of this course completely for free on YouTube to get you started with Python. I plan to upload new videos here to YouTube every Monday and every Thursday for at least a couple of months. If you're interested in the complete course, which teaches you Python from scratch and eventually progresses to things like creating graphical user interfaces and using neural networks, principal component analysis, cluster analysis, all that stuff, and much more besides, then you can find a link in the description or just go to this URL on the screen right here. If you finish the whole course, you'll be able to write all kinds of general purpose programs in Python and use Python to do machine learning and artificial intelligence as well. Thank you for watching. Until next time, happy coding.